What would these rooms tell us if we could hear their feelings? Which queens have stayed in these rooms? Which dukes have walked through these gardens? Ayete Palace is located on the former grounds belonging to the Ayets, a family of Gascon origin. In the late 19th century, the house gave its name to the neighborhood now known as Ayete, which until then was known by the name of Alto de Amara. The country house, the belongings and the lands known as Ayete were purchased from the Ernais and the Saleses families in 1865 by the Dukes of Bailen. The Duchess was from Donostia. After joining other annexed lands to this estate, in 1878, the Dukes built the palace believed to have been designed by the French architect Adolphe von Bercht. The design of the gardens was the work of Bayon Gardner, Pierre Ducas y Perez. The Dukes, who were very close to the Spanish royal family, offered the palace to Queen Maria Cristina so she could enjoy her summers here in San Sebastian. The Queen lived in the palace until she moved to the Miramar Palace in 1893. In summer, the city became the country's political center. The next owners were the Counts of Casa Valencia, who purchased the estate in 1913. After an initial failed attempt to purchase in 1887, San Sebastian City Council purchased the estate in 1940 to give it to the head of state. The dictator Francisco Franco spent his summers here until 1973. And in that time, the Office of Government was transferred to San Sebastian to hold cabinet meetings in one of the palace's halls. After the death of the dictator, the city council embarked upon a series of reforms designed to turn the palace into a place to accommodate authority figures and celebrities who would visit San Sebastian or for municipal receptions. The French neoclassical style palace has a cellar and is laid out over three floors. The top floor has a mansard roof and is covered in slate roof tiles. Juan José Guruchaga, a Donostian architect, was commissioned to extend the palace when it was owned by Casa Valencia. In keeping with the style of the facade and maintaining the heights, a section was added to each side of the main building. The palace was completed as we know it today. On the estate, we can come across the stables, a dovecote, fountains and ponds typical in the garden. The garden follows the dictates of 19th century fashion, English design or landscaped. Guided by the era of romanticism prevailing in that time, the landscape is in search of a return to nature, to mysterious spaces, creating a garden with the aim of turning it into an intimate place where man becomes one with nature. With regard to the flora, we come across splendid and beautiful varieties of indigenous flora such as the holly, yew or maples, and exotic varieties such as the ginkgo biloba or a stunning sequoia. With the new project, the palace and the Ayete Gardens become the social and cultural engine of the Ayete neighborhood. You have a leading role in the future of Ayete. Share your stories of peace with the walls of this building. Discover Ayete.